Okay, I've got a really rich one for you. You're going to like this one. Now, <clears throat> a lot of people were really upset that I gave a huge down vote to the new Nikkor 105 F14. I gave logical reasoning and test examples of why it was bad. I had hundreds of witnesses to the fact that an Icon ambassador took his original images, heavily manipulated them, re-uploaded them, then a big storm brewed, and then uh, he, sw he removed all the comments, and then finally he just put both images up. He probably had a talk with Nikon. And then I found out, wait, I'm getting to it here. Hold on a second. I'm getting to it. This is a new one. And then a Romanian Nikon ambassador posted up a pile of heavily edited, yet beautiful images but heavily, wah, 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 you know, right here on the computer, not on the camera or the lens, but ya. So now someone is uploading, and I won't mention their names, and obviously I can't show you their pictures, um, uploaded some images, and it says that they're straight out of camera from the 105mm f1.4. I don't know why these people are trying to, you know, if you like the lens and it's poor color saturation, you know, just say, I like this lens. That's valid. Anything you choose that you like, be happy with it. But someone is posting now images stating that these are straight out of camera. I downloaded the high resolution images. Thank you for leaving those high resolution images. I plugged them into three different online forensic examiners. And then I checked ELA, error level analysis, which turned out bad, meaning they were manipulated. But the best part was is that I checked two of the four images, I think there were four, and uh, hidden in there, according to data forensics, isn't that what I went to, the main one, which is the best one, image forensics, excuse, excuse me, imageforensics.org. Now, <clears throat> if that was straight out of camera, and you just uploaded the JPEG, the information on those files would not be attached. Capture 1.9, meaning version 9, Macintosh. You see, I knew as soon as I looked at these pictures that that lens, and they were mounted on an Nikon D810, I knew immediately that those images were absolutely 100% irrefutably impossible to pop out of the fanny rear element of that 105 f1.4 because that lens is infamously poor bandwidth, meaning washed out, bleached, devoid, whitewashed, you know, sun bleached. You get my point? That sort of color saturation, straight out of camera, absolutely impossible. And so, I've got the proof. My question to you is, if you like this lens, just say, hey, I like this lens. Okay? Now, I understand why Nikon would bring two ambassadors to various boards to post pictures that are heavily edited, by the way, meaning the lens could never produce that. It would produce meow on the computer. Okay, so the title of this is Straight Out of Camera from this lens, S-O-O-C. Now, I'm pretty sure that when I upload these high-resolution images into Image Forensics, which I'm looking at a screenshot right here on my iPhone, and I processed, I tried four different uh, software. I knew immediately that they were fake. It's impossible for that camera and that lens, well, mean the, meaning the lens, was, there's no way it could produce those images. Yeah, you see, when it says right here, in resolution, X resolution, model, image length, oh, software. Capture One 9 Macintosh. Capture One software editing program. That would be version 9 for Macintosh. You see, th that is attached to that particular JPEG file. Yeah. That, that would not be straight out of camera. And my word is B-U-S-T-E-D. Busted. I don't care if, what anybody thinks of me. I'm not running a popularity contest. But that is busted. Flat out B-U-S-T-E-D. Busted. You know, it's like trying to rationalize your ugly son or something like that. Remember, you know, this Seinfeld episode. It's like, oh, look at her son. He's so beautiful. And I was like, yeah, God, you know, he's, 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 yeah, he's beautiful. You know?
just say I love my son. She's like, yeah, you know, that's fine. You know, <laughs> I don't care what anybody buys, but don't make up. Because if you show these fictitious images, like this is straight out of camera from this lens. And if someone else that may be like poor on cash, it's like, I've been saving my money up for magic lens. These pictures look so good. I got to buy this lens because those images are beautiful. And man, someone drug the saturation sliders on red, green, blue. So they, they drug them all the way. Wow. Those images look color rich. That lens cannot produce those images. I knew right away, within one millisecond, my eyeballs saw those pictures like fake. Absolutely fake. Which is fine. I'm not against photo manipulation. That's all fine. That's fine and dandy. But that did not come out of that lens nor out of that camera. Especially when the image forensics show that the pictures have within them Capture One. That's an image manipulation software like Photoshop and Lightroom. Version 9, Macintosh. Yeah, that's impossible for that to be straight out of camera. Busted, girlfriend. Busted. Busted. Busted.